While there are several IR drivers for different models of Sony TV, a single IP driver covers numerous Sony TV models for AVA OS. Start with the normal add device step. Enter Sony IP to quickly find the driver. This next screen is vital to your success. Read it. It tells you how to configure the Sony TV so that it can be controlled. If you don't verify each item here, AVA OS won't be able to control the TV or even find it on the network. But if you have the TV correctly configured and it's on the same network as the AVA system, ta-da! The driver presents you with the available TVs using the friendly names that you have assigned to them. Pick your TV, then assign it to a room. And the Sony TV is now added. Watch the first setup video if you're not familiar with what to do after adding a TV. Otherwise, might I suggest picking one of the videos suggested here to continue your AVA OS learning.